In this quick exercise, I'm going to show you how to um, change your listing from a numeric listing to an alpha listing. So let's say, for example, right now we're looking at a listing that has the top 99 uh, Fortune 500 companies in the United States. Uh, and it is listed by rank, going from 1, of course, down to 99. And as you can see, this is about a, a two-and-a-half-page document. All right, but in this particular exercise, what I want to do is instead of having them by rank, I want to have them in alpha order. So here's what you need to do. The first thing you want to do is we, we need to have the company names actually over on the left-hand side and the ranking on the right-hand side. So we have to switch the column order. And that's pretty easy. What you want to do is you want to hover your arrow. You're in the text tool. You hover your arrow right above the table. And then once you do that, and you just drop down anywhere in that column where you can see next to the arrow, you see like a little cell icon next to the arrow. Click and drag all the way over until you go to the actual right edge of the table. And you can see it has this like little blue highlighted line. Release. And at that point, you've just switched the column order. So now we have all of the names on the left-hand side and, of course, the rank on the right-hand side. And that's what we need to do. Now, once we've done that, the next step is we're going to select the entire table. We're going to go up to table and we'll say convert table to text. And we'll say, OK. So we want to keep the column separators as tabs and the row separators as paragraph returns. We'll say OK. So you have this right here now. All right, now that we have that, the next thing up is we're going to do a Command A or Control A if you're in the PC. And we're going to select the first two paragraphs because we don't want to uh, include that in our sorting um, option. So we want to deselect the first two paragraphs. So as we have a Command A, put your finger on the Shift key. And I want you to highlight the first or actually deselect the first two paragraphs so that they're not selected as part of the listing. Because if, if they were selected, then it's going to try to alphabetize those two as well. And we don't want to do that. We want to just alphabetize the actual listing. So now we have that highlighted. Then what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the uh, our panel, our scripts panel. And if you don't have that in your sidebar, no, no worries. All you have to do is you go up to Window, drop down to Utilities, and you'll see that's your scripts, okay, right there. I already have it in my sidebar, so I click on it. And once I click on it, the way you get to the sort paragraphs is you would go, when you have your scripts, you go to application, samples, JavaScript, and then down to sort paragraphs. Double click on that, accept the default, which is ignore formatting, form, uh, ignore formatting and it has faster next to it. Ignore spaces, just accept the default, say OK, and voila, there you go. You can see it's now alphabetized. And if we want to bring it back to where we had it as a table, no worries. We're going to do a Command A or Control A. So now we're going to highlight this whole body of text. The only thing that is not part of the table is where it says below the listing of. So we need to deselect that. Again, put your finger on the Shift key and just swipe it so you deselect it. All right, then we're going to go back up to tables, drop down to convert text to tables, column separator to tab, row separator to paragraph return. We'll say OK, and now we're back. All right, so now we have the alpha order here on the right hand side, and we have the ranking on, I'm sorry, the alpha order on the left hand side, and the, uh, and the ranking on, on the right hand side. And if we need to bring it back where we switch the columns, no problem. Just mouse over, much like we did uh, switching it the first time. We're going to mouse over the, just the column, click and drag it over, and then it's going to switch the order. So now we have the ranking in this column, and we have the company in this column. So that's how you can very easily, it's a little cumbersome, but once you know what you're doing, that's how you can very easily um, actually alphabetize a list in InDesign.